you record? Oh. Okay, cool. And then you just hope it's capturing audio and that you don't drop it and that nothing bad happens. Well, carrying a giant DSLR around feels a little different. But here we go. I am lost now and I don't know how to get out of Dillard's. So every year at Dillard's they have like this sale after Christmas I think where they're just like selling I think everything goes like I don't know, like 50% off or something it is like crazy it's also awesome though because they have all this quality super sale stuff and you can just get great deals at Dillard's especially for us poor people who still like to wear nice stuff So like I bought a suit one time because it was on the super sale and it's like a $1,200 suit but I never wear it though but I got it for like $200 it was, it's pretty nice, but I didn't know a lot about suits at the time and it's actually a little too big, so. Oops. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this camera when I need to put it down, so that's a bit of a problem, especially because I have to go to the bathroom. We're in the mall on a Saturday. And it's really busy on Saturdays, apparently. My life would be so much easier if I didn't feel obligated to carry a camera everywhere. I will probably never understand why do malls have such long hallways going to the bathroom? They're always like a cavern of narrowness. Like just look behind me. It's always this long narrow cavern and it's almost scary. I got free Starbucks so I guess kind of shout out to my sister for bringing me Starbucks because if I don't, if she doesn't bring me stuff I'm mean to her so I'm just a jerk in general. It's the only way she can get me to even like notice her so but I'm doing this so my mom doesn't get mad at me. I'm such a jerk. I can't even get, like, I was talking to my friend the other day and she was like, I'm going into a store so I'm gonna hang up. And I was like, what, why? And she's like, well, I feel awkward walking around while I'm on the phone. And I'm over here walking around in a mall with a DSLR camera. I guess you just kind of have to get used to it at some point. So here we go. I always tell myself I'm gonna buy a longboard and I can never pick one. And they're always so expensive. But I walk my dog a lot and usually when I do, I pull him on a penny board or he pulls me while I'm on my penny board. And it is like scary sometimes going probably 20 miles an hour on a penny board when my feet are bigger than the board itself. And I'm, there's been so many times I'm scared that we're gonna just hit a bump or something and I'm gonna fly off and get the most horrible rub burn ever. And I'd be a lot more secure and feel a lot more comfortable if I was actually on a longboard so it's always been in the back of my head to invest in one and I never have but today my dog was yelling at me to take him on a walk and he's like yanking on the leash and stuff and I'm like you know what dude I'm just gonna buy a longboard now cuz it's <laughs> it's scary but I gotta pick one now I kind of want to ask the chick about her security dog. I'm genuinely curious. It is so cute too. I'm gonna go ask her because it's a cute dog and I want to know about it. So we're gonna go randomly walk up to a stranger and ask her about her dog. Hi, Cookie. So is it a security dog? Or? Uh, she's not a security. She's being trained in anxiety alert. As okay. A service dog. Yeah, I was curious if it was a service dog or being trained. In she's a service training dog. right now. Well, at least trying to. So, so you don't need the dog, you just have it to train? Yeah, well I have the tra in training bus so that she doesn't get kicked out because technically you're not supposed to have pet dogs. So I only have, the, but technically you don't need the training vest on. Uh, I just have it. So you just that have they it know. so people know that like yeah. you, you're allowed to have the dog in here. Yes. <laughs> what kind of dog is she? She's a Belgian. Aww. She's pretty. I thought she was a German Shepherd at first, but then I'm up close enough. Like. <laughs> so is that like your job? Like you train? Her? I just trained mine. This is my oh, okay. first service dog that I'm training. Oh, okay. I have a German Shepherd at home and then a lab, but they're just kind of there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My dog actually, her, his 
sister was actually going to become a service dog, but he's a husky, and like she, they picked the most hyper one. Oh, and, wow. and I was like, I feel like you know huskies are not a good choice because huskies are usually very independent and hyper. So like I always wonder like what came of it because like and I was even thinking because service dogs have you know, a specific job and yeah. it's a little bit of a different. Training, I've seen a so. couple huskies that have been service dogs. I feel like it might work if like the only their only job was to you know kind of bring, make someone more happy and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like. Do you know what what actually is the idea for a service dog as far as like what's the training like to, to help cure the anxiety I guess? Um, I have I don't have like a whole bunch. Just for my mom, my mom she has really bad anxiety, mm -hmm. and she'll I don't know how to really put it. She like she'll scratch herself and she'll just get like really. really Scared and pan yeah, a panic, yeah, panic attack. There we go. Something like a panic attack. Like extreme anxiety. Yes, she okay. has really bad anxiety. And a service dog that's trained in anxiety will kind of it's kind of comfort. They have it's really really hard for me to explain. I don't really know how to explain it, but they'll really calm you down and they'll put their head where you're if you're scratching your leg because so I'll mm -hmm. even scratch my leg and to like teach her to help yes. oh that's cool and she'll put her hand where I'm scratching to stop me from scratching and if I start shaking too much then she'll put her whole body weight onto me to stop me from shaking oh so she's like oh, that's really cool actually yes yeah I've never like done research at a training dog and I saw I was actually so I do uh, videos on YouTube and I was mm -hmm. filming myself because I'm buying a uh, uh, longboard right now because my dog actually loves to run and he was telling me today why well, he's a penny board and so uh -huh. like, my feet are like this we're going 20 miles an hour I'm like I'm going if I fall I'm gonna die like no, I'm like yeah I'm just like nope so I'm like I was just saying like I need to get a penny bo a longer board so yes. I'm a lot more secure while he's pulling me because he'll just run and like I've jogged with him but have? I have a husky Aww. so he loves to pull yeah so, that's like, what they were bred for yeah so that's what he's used to so that's what he enjoys doing mm -hmm. so like if I run with him he's pulling me either way so like, he and that's what he's I'm used gone. to. Yeah, like he's he'll go 20 miles an hour, especially off the start. So like, it's just it gets a little scary when you're like this the whole time. So like, I need something a little bigger. And then I saw your dog, and I was like, I'm just gonna walk up to this stranger because that dog is really cute. So <laughs> thank you, uh, well, I appreciate it. Nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you. It's okay if I keep the audio for you talking about it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's cool. You're really cute. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> She's really pretty. Thanks. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Oh, it's a little like history lesson for the day. So, what? Service dogs are awesome, guys. Respect the dogs. That was a really cute puppy too. Cute puppers. So, carrying stuff just got even harder because now I have a board and a bag. So, trying out here to record. Trying not to drop my thousand-dollar camera. I'm holding like so much money right now. I got my backpack. And then I got the board, and then I got these shoes. I bought some shoes because I was gonna need some shoes, so I just decided to invest in some now. So now I have shoes that I got for like 20 bucks, so I ended up spending like $237 overall. It's not bad. I'm in Sunglasses Hut now because I've gone in here so many times, and every time I look at these glasses, and I'm a little biased, but I think they look amazing on me. I can focus. Yeah, these. What do you think? Honest opinion. Sunglass Hut lady doesn't want to be on the video, but she does approve. <laughs> I think it looks good. Specifically this color, I don't know. It's got some real like Iron Man vibes going on. Very proud of myself. Like, I was noticing that. I get this back to you. Really? Avengers? Marvel? Are you one of those? If you did though. Oh, really? I was about to walk out of here and then I remembered. Oh, sorry. I almost killed a child. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, I just remembered that I parked in the complete other side. So I gotta go like through Dillard's to get to my car. But I have transportation halfway through, so woo! I feel like this is gonna be, be like super shaky video footage, so hopefully not, but it probably is. Everyone's gonna be over here really claustrophobic, or the audio is gonna be really bad. Here we go, guys. Casey nice dap mode. Activated. Ah. Ah. I need to hit by a car or something, or just trip and fall. Oh, I don't have good shoes on for this. I don't want to tear up these running shoes. Okay.
Just facing nice step mode, over. I don't want to trip and hurt. No, no. This is the tight squeeze. That was smooth though, I liked it. It was good. Where's my car? 